Hey, HCG family, it's Mimi. Long time, no see, no vlog, but did you see where I was with Miss HCG girl? And that was fun. That was, that was exciting. So got to spend several hours with her and, and, uh, and actual good fellowship. So oh, my glasses are gonna see if I can where if I do this. Could be still like that. Anyway, um all the comments that she got on that vlog that we did together was just so wonderful and I just appreciate it and uh just the warm the warm words and encouragement from so many of the HCG community and I appreciate that. I I had a blast. It was just it was just fun doing. I was just excited about, you know, getting there and getting to visit with her and um Mr. Miss HCG girl and uh, just a wonderful family and just you know hated to leave and wish we could have stayed longer and even gone on that hike with them but we, we had to start heading home and uh, so anyway and she was right about the fall colors it was absolutely beautiful so uh, maybe next time if we go by that way we'll get to stop and and uh, spend some time together and have dinner and and that kind of thing. So I encourage anybody, if there's any uh, other uh, HCGers that that you live by, you know, try try hooking up or meeting. You know, maybe traveling. It might be like, you know, 50 miles or something like that if you can. But it was fun. So anyway, thank you again. And thank you, Miss HCG girl. Mwah. Okay, so what's going on with me? I haven't vlogged in a while. And I was going through the calendar. I know when I was over there with Miss HCG girl, we were talking about doing a round in January. And I really would like to get, you know, back on the protocol in phase two and uh, give my body a rest from I haven't really ate a whole you know lot off of protocol and uh, but my you know my body struggles I haven't weighed and uh, but I can feel of course after vacation I can kind of feel like I'm even though I did eat uh, some steak I think one of the main things I had was a couple of fried apple pies that we got and but mostly like a sweet potato you know a baked sweet potato which I really like and I'm thinking I could eat one of those with dinner every night until I get sick of them but they're low glycemic and they're very healthy and good for you so anyway so I was looking through the calendar and, you know, my husband, we like talk, we were talking about it again, you know, if I could, to do another round. And uh, I've got my calendar right here. The thing is, is my dad's birthday party is on the 11th. And I'm going to be making, you know, like homemade barbecue and... And my sister and I are, you know, doing the food. And so I didn't want to have to go through of not being able to taste things. And I think I already said this. Matter of fact, maybe the last vlog I did. But anyway, I was kind of trying to, you know, count the days. And, of course, Thanksgiving is the 22nd this year. So I might be able to fit in maybe like a 25-day round and maybe load on Thanksgiving. Now I'm just going to talk this over with the hubs and 
see what I can do, and then stay on it till right before Christmas. And then we're going to be, uh, hopefully, Lord willing, uh, going out of town again the day after Christmas, and maybe, um, you know, and just do phase three, because really, I'll, where we go, we like to stay where we're at, and do my own cooking, because it seems like the food tastes better. It just, we just enjoy it better, we relax, we enjoy, you know, eating our own food, and I would have no problem, you know, eating phase three foods anyway. So, that's a possibility. I mean, that's something I'm weighing over to to load on maybe Thanksgiving. Well, actually, Thanksgiving's on a Thursday. I might load three days. I don't know. I've never loaded three days. I've always loaded just two days. I've never gained a whole lot in loading. And I usually like would gain a pound loading. And then the second day, I said, and actually lose that again. And, um, but I've never had real big releases um, in any of the rounds that I've been on. So, so anyway, that's kind of what I'm rolling over and thinking about doing. I feel like that I just got to listen to who... Uh, IBGHCG. Uh, I just got done listening to her vlog, and um, oh shoot, I don't really know what her real name is. I can't remember. Anyway, she was talking about iron deficiency, and and um, I don't. I mean, I cook just about everything, just about everything that I cook, fry eggs and everything, I do in an iron skillet. So, uh, I don't know. You know, sometimes as far as energy and that's concerned, I just absolutely dread going to the doctor's office. It is just something I do not, there's just so much pressure for them to want to do stuff that I don't want them to do so but anyway she had talked a little bit about not being able to maintain and you know you don't have to really eat a whole lot before you start you know uh, putting on the pounds I don't have to stray too far from phase three and as far as the carbs even like eating rice um, like sweet potatoes I actually you know, corn chips or something like that. I mean, I just struggle like, okay, I'm probably going to have to pay for this. You know, I mean, it just doesn't seem like it's ever, like, not bothered me. So, anyway, I think she did mention something about injections in sublingual, too. And I've never done injections. I've always done sublingual, and I've never been hungry or anything like that. I really, you know, I think whatever works for you, and uh, so I don't want to go down that road, but anyway, I don't want to take too long, but I had found, and I got this article, I want to show it to you, oh, what did I do with it, I know it's somewhere here, I just had it, um, this site is called Unique healthandwellness.com and this other lady that does like a nutritional um, thing, well I take that back it's not, it's her uh, what's her name is like Michelle Lassure this is her blog and it's called uniquehealthandwellness.com anyway she did a thing here on de de detoxification with dry brushing and I won't read the whole article to you, and you all can look it up, but it says, she says, this, I'm just going to read this, she says, 
One of the main reasons I like dry brushing so much is because of the effects on the lymph system. Below I will list other benefits, but for now I want to focus on the lymph system. If you have done the HCG program and you, you need to really pay attention, this is something common seen in someone that has done HCG. When doing energetic testing that his or her lymph system has been overloaded, we store all our toxins in our fat and losing a pound of fat a day dumps a lot into the system. So you are thinking, what exactly does the lymph system do? Well, Answer.com had a nice simple explanation. The lymphatic system helps to maintain fluid balance, defend the body against disease, absorb liquids from the intestines, and transport them to the blood. The lymphatic system collects and returns fluid that leaks from blood vessels. It absorbs fats and vitamins. So anyway, she goes down to talk about this slow moving system of dry brushing your skin. So she talks about taking, you know, like the, you know, the brush, she shows actually a picture of a brush, you know, it's got the wooden handle and that, and you take the brush and it's got, you know, not harsh bristles on it, but she talks about how rubbing, starting from your feet and, <coughs> excuse me, working all the way up with this dry brushing your skin. And I think she said like to do this like a couple times a week. And uh, so I thought it was really interesting because she was talking about, of course, you know, the biggest organ in our body is our skin. And we not only do our, our skin absorb things and some things not so good, they also, those things come out of our skin. And I remember a lot when I when I did the Atkins that uh, when I start eating a lot of protein and fat that on my chest I start getting all these little bumps and they itch and come out. So and I'm sure you know that some of that we know that our body you know the fat is coming out, it's coming out of our breath, it's you know it's coming out of other parts. So, anyway, I thought that was kind of interesting. So, you might want to check her blog out. Unique, U-N-I-Q-U-E, healthandwellness.com. I'll put it down in the little information section. So, I just wanted to share that with you. I need to get a new brush. You want to get one that uh, you, you know, Keep it dried out in a place to where it doesn't get mildew in that in your shower. So, but I thought that was interesting because she brought up about the HCG program and how important that is for us to uh, to do this to dry brush our skin, and it has all all these other kind of benefits too. So, anyway, that's that's where I'm at. Um, my middle daughter. If you've seen the, my birthday one that I did back in April uh, vlog with my two daughters, uh, the one that's got the black hair, she moved back home. She was living in California. She lived out there for about six months. And she moved back home, and I'm glad to have her back home and kind of going to start, start over again and uh, get a job here and so this all took place kind of pretty quick excuse me she hasn't been she hasn't lived home in a long time so so that's been taking a little bit of a transition but it's been a very very positive one I'm so I'm so happy for that so so thankful for that so anyway, a hope and another thing, Miss HCG girl, you need to just go to her and you need to go and sign, get out there and, you know, and I mean, my mailbox is filled with people. I can't even keep count of all the people that have subscribed to me and it's like, oh my goodness. And I told her, I said, I'm so bad about, you know, really checking in and, and uh, keeping up with that. 
And that's why I tell her, I said, I just, I have a hard time just staying focused on just the simple things. It's not that I'm, you know, my life is too busy or hectic because I don't think anybody's life can be as hectic as a lot of other, these ladies that blog every day and, and comment every day and and that kind of thing. So I need to be a better HCG or blogger or commenter. So, but anyway, I just wanted to check in and let you know what the scoop is. And, you know, it's a lot of new, 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 new subscribers. And I just thank you so much. You know, I think there's a lot of the, you know, just reading through the comments from the vlog that I we did with Miss HCG girl it was so, you know, cool to see people that, you know, I don't really even know. I don't think I've even listened to some of their, listened to their vlogs that have just been so sweet and with their comments. So, thank you so much and I just hope everybody just has a uh, awesome week and it's good to watch you know Missy is like she's rocking it out she is just it's it's so cool and it, it's true she'll be she'll be in the 140s skip just right through the 150s and that just be amazing and I truly meant that to be the size of Miss HCG girl but at the same height at the same age, and uh, I would be completely thrilled to be that size. So maybe, maybe I should like made too a big deal about the that cheesecake. My goodness, I couldn't even eat all of that that little piece, and and uh, it was good. Cause I'm not a real like super sweet person. You know, I mean, as far as food. I'm a real sweet person, though, in real life. Why don't you all come here and visit? Just up here in Kentucky. I'm so close to Cincinnati. All right. I'm rambling. So, love you guys. Keep releasing, maintaining. Big hug to my HCG family.